So here we have it then, Downloader, the great app that we all use to install apps on our Android TV, our Fire Stick. Some people even use it on their mobile phones. That app has been removed from certain app stores. This is a nightmare, it's hard work, but what I'm gonna do on this one is explain to you what's happened, and I'm also gonna show you the, the replacement option we can use inevitably until it is back, because it will be back. Don't worry about that. But until then, obviously, remember, the way you stay up to date with all this stuff is by hitting that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher here, do remember to hit that share button, and make sure you've all rung that bell, and let me know if you've been having any issues yourself. So, what is going on? Downloader, the great app which you get on your um, Android TV devices has been removed from the store. Absolute nightmare, I know. Absolute nightmare. I still have it because I had it installed already. Lots of you may be looking for it and can't get it. So what the problem is, if it's gone, you can't use it. It's gone from Android TV store and your Android mobile store. Currently, it's still on Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, but it's gone from the Android store because it's had a DMCA takedown notice from some random TV streaming app saying they allow access to their content. Obviously, it's just a web browser. So for that sake, they would have to remove every single web browser from all these Android, Google Play Store, everything like that, which they're not gonna do. So I'm sure they will get over it and they are arguing it out and we've shown our support to them on Twitter. Hopefully they will sort it. So you will go to your app store and you will search downloader and in here, in the open Google Play Store, you will search downloader and you will not find it. That's your downside, okay? If you do find it, when you search it, what that means is it's been fixed and it's back. So brilliant. Don't go coming at me saying you're lying, you're making it up. It's not there. Um, obviously, we can type it in. Downloader in the store. Oh, I help if I spelled it correctly. Every time. We can type it in in the store. And it's not coming up. Like normally that would be already up by now. You see it downloaded by FTV News there. Nope, it's not coming up. It's not showing. Although I already had it installed anyway because I already had it. And um, there's a few options. You can install it from side loading it another way. But what you can do is just use a browser called TV space bro. Okay. TV bro. It's a, another browser, which actually I wasn't going to bring you. Um, Tech Doctor did a video on this a little while ago. We did a video on this probably a couple of years ago. It's been around for a while, but it's had a recent update. But TV Bro actually does a lot of the stuff the downloader would do, but it doesn't have those short codes. Downloader is still by far the best one we're going to follow, and we'll continue to use Downloader once it is back. But for this demonstration, we're going to install TV Bro for you. So you just type in your store TV Bro. You can type open. Um... Yeah, you can use a new engine, that's fine. And we're in to the new setup, okay? And again, you'll have a few websites underneath if you want them, as always. But at the top, you can search everything like that as you normally would. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Let me push the right buttons. So you've got your TV Bro here. You've got your Google search. You can obviously type in my website if you want to. Downside is we've got no short codes, okay? So if you need to access my website to download anything, like you might have been watching some of my latest videos and can't do it anymore without the downloader, um, you can just write Doc Squiffy in, push enter, and it'll re-auto spell it. Let's try that again. Doc Squiffy. I can't spell today. Right. Again, not as easy in my eyes as... Um, not as easy in my eyes as downloader is, but it works. Obviously, standard stuff, once you to sign into Google, all that sort of stuff, and your acceptance, but you don't need to sign in, you can just accept it, and we're at my website, okay? You can then obviously go to my website. If you hit the hamburger menu at the top, you can click on downloads, and you'll have all our downloads here. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. Don't do that on a um, on your device itself. Do it on a mobile phone maybe if you want to. It's just so you get notifications when we release something new. And then again, from here, you can obviously pick something you want to download. Whatever you wanted to download. It doesn't really matter what it was. Um, I've even got TV Row on here. Other browsers as well. Doesn't really matter. Let's just tick, click one for purpose sakes. So you click it. Find the big download button and it will install same as normally everything would. 
Okay, it will download nicely. And that's downloaded for us. So to find the downloads, you have to push the back button and click on the download arrow and you'll see it here and you can install it. It's a little bit trickier than it would be for um, downloader. You obviously have to turn on the install unknown when it prompts you like you would on downloader as well. You click install and we've installed an app. So it does work. We're going to use TV Bro instead. Um, and that way we can install stuff still. But I guarantee you downloader will be back into next week. So if you can hold off, just hold off. It's a lot simpler process. But until then, we've got TV Bro, which is available in the App Store. Nice and easy. But most of you, I'm sure, have downloader. And the one we have still works if you already have it. You just can't install it. But until then, use TV Bro and come and get everything you need. My website will be linked underneath docsquiffy.com. To make it easy, you can write docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads to make your life simpler, easy, peasy, and it's all there. Brilliant. So hopefully that was a quick update. You might have already seen the news already. I tried to give it 24 hours before I bought the news out because I didn't want to release yesterday just in case it instantly came back until I knew a bit more information about what was going on. Um, it hasn't come back, so now we can bring the news to you. I didn't want to panic, go for the video, and then suddenly it's back, and then my video is instantly out of date. Um, before you go, just a quick word for one of our partners. If you are interested, IP Vanish VPN is linked directly underneath. The VPN is a partner of ours. It does help support the channel. It allows us a little bit to do what we do. Obviously, we get a small commission. It's only cheap. It's $2 something a month. Um, you get a VPN. We get a small commission. So when you sign up through us, it's no extra cost for you. If anything, it's cheaper to go through our links and they give us a small commission from promoting it to you. So it does help us a little bit. Obviously, we don't need it. We do have YouTube, everything like that. We do have a little bit of ad revenue. It allows us to bring you videos and updates constantly but every little bit helps. We don't have any Patreon or any memberships or anything like that. So if you are after a VPN, we would appreciate if you use one of our links. We have linked directly underneath. And do, if you can, check out our website. Just looking around our website, there's obviously adverts on there. Anyone who scrolls around our website does help us a little bit out and does help us allow us to do what we do. Brilliant. And obviously, if you're an Android TV user, we have videos here for lots of other different applications, install guides and setup guides. But remember, if you are doing that, we may have to use TV Bro instead of download a like said on the video itself. Hopefully that makes sense. Brilliant. Hit those thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.